Hi guys, Jester from Mythical Fabrications here. So you just bought a brand new pipe from us. Well, whether it be 16340 all the way up to the 26650, all assembly is the exact same. Doesn't matter. It's real simple. Alright, so in your package you got your pipe. Whether it be wood, acrylic, metal, or stone. And you got a stem. It's exactly all you need from us. You'll still need to get your batteries and charger if you haven't got those yet, and a you know, Artemis locking tank or a locking tank and cardamizers and whatnot, whatever you decide to use. But it's very simple. For assembly, this is all you need to do. Take your pipe. As you can see, nice little construction. Take one string, pull it, shake it apart like this. Then pull that same string just a little bit more, it'll loosen the cap. Take the leather off. You have the bottle cap, and inside should be the spring. Alright, you take said spring, drop it inside, take a look inside to make sure the spring is still facing the field. Now the reason I do that is just in case you do cause a short if you decide to use low ohms. Remember, that's dangerous. Make sure you know what you're doing. You could blow something up if you don't. So, make sure it's facing the right side up. Take your battery, this happens to be an 18350. I always suggest AWIMR 18350s, unless of course you can find something way better, but this is what I recommend. Drop that in. You'll notice it's springy. That's a good thing. All right, now take your bottle cap, place it right on top. You notice it doesn't nice, don't, doesn't hold very nice and down. Well, that's what this is for. Leather does a couple different things, but mainly it holds the bottle cap in place. And if by chance you're doing those sub ohms and you start to fry the spring. You're not going to get burnt, mainly because this leather will protect against any kind of heat. Now, once you get that nice bottle cap in there, you get the leather pulled all the way around. Push it a few times to make sure you have it right. I definitely hear connecting metal. Hold the two sides. Pull them nice and tight. Then, take one string, wrap it around one way. Take the other string, wrap it around the other way. So it look like that. Now, as I usually do it, I keep two fingers right here, enough room to you know, tie everything up. And then you wrap one around the other, one, two, three times. Place on chest, and pull it. Now, yes, it's a little bothersome at first. I always hear the same thing. But once you get the hang of it, trust me, one of the best ways to go, it does not fall out. You don't have to worry about anything on it whatsoever. It's good to go. Now, once you're right there, take your tank. Oop, as I drop it. Take your tank. I happen to have an Artemis locking tank with a 2 ohm single coil cardo here. Push it inside. Screw it in. Now, don't be like, eh, I gotta get it out of there. No, no, no. Just screw it in until it stops. Now, these stems, whether they be black vulcanite, the long 8 inch church ward vulcanites, or the anywhere from 3.5 inch to 5 inch lucite, which I have right here, all of them fit the same way. You don't just slam them in. Okay, this one is a little loose, so I'll be opening the tin on this. But anyways, when you push it in, it'll be a little tight. You just want to lightly wiggle it until it gets in. And that'll make sure it does, tip does not fall out. Now on this one, I didn't use the tin and cut it too well. On the other ones, don't worry, I'll make sure they press fit perfectly. But it goes in there just like that. Then afterwards, you can use anywhere from two fingers, one finger, finger like this, or the thumb on top. Lots of different ones, but that's all it is. Very good. Now I'm going to switch over to this little guy right here. Since this is a nice press fit, as you can see, you want to make sure you push and just kind of wiggle it right in while holding the cardamizer. Now once that's in there like that, you don't have to worry about it falling out. It's in there pretty good. So everything's all simple. Now you can have your pipe like you're sure, so like you need to. You don't have to worry about falling out or whatnot. Very nice. Now 
if you have one of the 18650 pipes, or 26650 pipes, one of the big ones, you're going to be probably using a RBA or RBD. So, I happen to have right here a vicious ant, or a vicious cyclone, or vicious ant cyclone. Nah. Sorry, Bill, if you're watching. Okay, now this automatically has the connector with just the autofocus. The center pin on the connector is nice and flush. It's the exact same with most of the cartomizers. As you notice right here, it's nice and flush. Now, with all the connectors up, bound on all these regular really things that you buy, you know, when you buy a 5 tin connector to use for modding, the grommet is not the best. So what you want to do is make sure you adjust that center post. Make sure this is nice and flush, nice and flat with the threading. Then it will go in here very nice. It won't cut the grommet. It won't push it too far down and cut that seal. It'll work perfect. So please, make sure you do that. If you do not, you'll make that little center post inside here go in too far, cut the grommet, and short the whole pipe out. You'll know that because every spring will be just melting. It'll just be heating up and melting. Luckily, it's a fuse spring, so it will cut the connection. That way it doesn't suddenly go, oh, God, I'm going to toss it. No, you don't have to worry about that. It'll drop down below any conductivity point, so you'll be good. All right? Other than that, that's all you guys need to know. I mean, just make sure you have the suitable battery for the correct pipe. I usually suggest if you're going to use any kind of RBA or RBDs, please use a MNKE. I've got the magnets attached. MNKE 18650. They're one of the best ones I've found for high drains. Um, if you're going to be using 18490s, 18500s, 18350s, or 16340s, please use AWIMRs. I prefer them. I use them in everything I use. But I have not had a single problem with them. All right. As for 26650s, there's quite a few out there. I believe I do have a giant blue EFAS back there, which I use on occasion, but most of my high drains I'll use the 18650. All right. So guys, I hope you guys do enjoy your new pipe. Please feel free to leave comments and whatnot on our mythicalfabrications.com site that you got this from. And go to the correct place where you got the pipe, as in wood or acrylic, which this one hasn't been made yet. Stone or metal, go down below and write a review for us. We'd love that. Alright, thank you very much. Remember, vape long, vape hard. I'm the Jess from Mythical Fabrications. See you guys again soon.